let me go to Karnataka first. Uh, so, what are you picking up? Uh, will uh, the Congress have its way? Well, uh, Maria, look, 138 seats. They are uh, after the demise of one MLA, unfortunately, day before yesterday. The Congress itself is down to 134, but they've got the support of four others, including Janardhan Reddy. So they've got the numbers, but uh, will they be able to hold the flock together? That would be the real test. Remember, DK Shivkumar sitting as a polling agent there, uh, ensuring that everything goes in order. Remember, Maria, it's not just about cross-voting. Even one invalid first preference vote could raise a question mark over the candidature of the third Rajya Sabha MP who's been renominated by the Congress party. Obviously, D. Kupendra Reddy's fielding by the J BJP JDS was to test the Congress, a bit of a prestige battle in its most powerful state. Uh, Kupendra Reddy is seven short for that seat. The BJP has one secure seat seven MLA short, seven first preference vote short for a second seat. So even if it's going to be a task for him to get those seven votes, uh, the Congress's real challenge is to make sure that nothing goes down uh, wrong. Uh, there is zero chances for error, zero scope for any kind of error, whether it's procedural or in terms of cross-voting. Remember the kind of allegations that were made, a police complaint filed against Kupendra Reddy for bribing and coercing voters. So all the tamasha playing out, all the MLAs coming fresh from the Hilton Hotel in Bangalore, in the Vidhan Sauda right now, uh, voting process will go on till four. The results, of course, after five will be announced. But uh, most of it should be done in the first half of the day itself, okay. Maria. So, uh, Veera, this is a 224-member Karnataka Assembly, of which That's the Congress right. has 135 MLAs. Uh, the BJP has 66. The JDS has 19. And any candidate in Karnataka actually needs 45 first preference 46. votes. 46. 46 first preference votes to win. Uh, so, if we were to make that calculation, Veera, Ajay Makan and perhaps Nasser Hussain are through. It is the third can Congress candidate uh, whose calculation can go awry. That's right. Chandra Shekhar, who's also a sitting Rajya Sabha uh, MP, who's been renominated. Uh, obviously, you've got the first and the second candidate and the third candidate. But uh, it's also, remember, Maria, it's not just as I pointed out about cross voting. As you say, the numbers 46 needed per Rajya Sabha seat. So you've got 138 including the support of four independents. So there is no scope for error. It's exact as far as the numbers are concerned. And yes, as you point out, even if there is one vote that goes this way, that way, uh, it could raise the question of the third, candid third candidate in, this, in the fray. Yes, in fact, Nihal spoke to a uh, Congress spokesperson um, and MLA. Let's listen in to that. And then I'm going to go back to Veera as to what can go wrong in these elections in Karnataka. हमारे साथ कांग्रेस के वरिष्ठ नेता रिजवान अरशद साहब हैं पांचवा कैंडिडेट एनडीए ने उतारा है चार सीटें हैं आपको नहीं लगता कि आपकी पार्टी यानी कांग्रेस में सेनवारी की पॉसिबिलिटी ज्यादा है देखिए इनको उतारने की क्या जरूरत थी मुझे बताइए क्या इनके पास उतनी संख्या बला है बल है नहीं है इनकी जब इनकी संख्या नहीं है तो उतारना क्यों है कैंडिडेट तो इसलिए उतार रहे हैं कि आपके पास भ्रष्टाचार का जमा हुआ इतना पैसा है कि आपको लगता है कि हम कांग्रेस वालों को खरीद लेंगे वो होने वाला नहीं है आपके पास आई टी ई डी सी बी आई है उससे डरा देंगे धमका देंगे जो कोई डरने वाला नहीं है तो आप देखेंगे कि बीजेपी और जेडीएस एक्सपोज होगी और बुरी तरीके से इस इलेक्शन में हारेगी कांग्रेस का हर एक एम और इंडिपेंडेंट सब मिलकर कांग्रेस पार्टी के तीनों कैंडिडेट को वोट डालेंगे और हाइएस्ट मार्जिन से हमें हाँ तो अब आपको कितना वन हो गया ना एक तो एम एल की डेथ हो गई उसको एक से ज्यादा वोट आएंगे कांग्रेस तीनों के अंदर एक सौ चालीस कैसे कह रहे हैं जिनका कहना है की सेंधमारी की कोशिश बीजेपी की तरफ से हुई जे डी एस की तरफ से हुई एनडीए के उम्मीदवार यानी डॉक्टर उपेंद्र रेड्डी को जिताने की लेकिन जैसा की आपने सुना रिजवान अरशद का ये कहना है की जब नतीजे आएंगे तो भले ही इनके पास 138 विधायक हैं, लेकिन जो काउंट होगा वो 140 तक पहुंच सकता है यानी साफ है कि इशारा सेनमारी की तरफ है जेडीएस और बीजेपी के लिए बिफोर आई शिफ्ट फोकस टू हिमाचल वीरा क्विक वर्ड फ्रॉम यू यू नो देर इज नो स्कोप 
for any error in the Congress camp here in Karnataka. Uh, D K Shiv Kumar has been perhaps personally explaining the entire procedure, um, explaining how the stamp has to be put because it's very critically put here whenever Rajya Sabha elections happen. Give us a sense of how does the ballot paper look like and and what is the process. Well, look, every MLA will be given a ballot paper. He needs to declare his name and his constituency on it, and then there will be first preference and second preference candidates that they need to met. Uh, uh, put uh, write down on that ballot paper or tick uh, seal according to it. So once there is a first preference candidate uh, gets 46 votes, which is required, our understanding is that uh, the remaining extra votes would be counted for the second preference candidates if it is needed at the mm. end in terms of no one getting a cl clear majority. For instance, let's say if D. Kupendra Reddy doesn't get the numbers and also the third Congress candidate doesn't get the numbers, then you would have the second preference votes which would be counted, which has a different weightage as far as these elections are concerned and they would be uh, then totaled out to give you the final number. So the process is a little complex and that is why I think the Congress also took time to make sure that there is uh, uh, there is clarity amongst all MLAs and, and explain the entire process to it. Remember, this is not just about cross voting A. This is a prestige battle for the Congress. Mm. So there is no scoop for error in terms of the procedures. And it was interesting, Maria, to listen to what Rizwan Arshad was saying, that they would get, in fact, 140 votes, which means that they are hoping that there could be cross voting on the other side, especially from the JDS camp. Remember, D.K. Shiv Kumar and Siddharamaya have their control over several DK, JDS MLAs as well. It is not one flop. So while we speak about the Congress, this is also as much a test about the JDS being able to hold its flock together and how this plays out. So a fascinating battle there. We'll know by five o'clock who's won and who's lost. <laughs>